one of my projects this year was to try and come up with a way to make the serial interface on the SA2005 safety analyzer a bit easier to use. Because while it does have a serial interface, it's not exactly that clear on how to use it or how to combine certain commands together. Um, and to make it even worse, the device does not have remote echo. So you could be typing things into a computer and nothing would show up even though it is sending those characters to the device. So to try and get around that, I wrote a Python script to help get around those issues. It initially started off as a command line utility, which I'm showing here. So this is just a simple test of it resetting itself back to its initial startup state. But to improve on that, I added a bit more code to create a graphical user interface using the Qt library for Python. So in here I can open up the program here. It will open up a user interface where I can select the COM port for the safety analyzer and connect to it. And from there, it will pull, start pulling in values directly from the machine itself. I can then use these buttons to change the measurement readings, which will also ref be reflected on the device itself. And by using the right-hand controls, I can control power flow for the hot, neutral, ground, and I can also change the polarity. One disadvantage is that it has a fairly slow update rate in terms of the values being received and the commands being sent. And after taking it apart and looking for the serial interface, um, I did find it that was on the back of the screen module, but it's not exactly something that would be easy to change, at least for the time being. So for now, it does have basic functionality. Um, some of the commands don't work and there is currently not any options to do testing for the patient leads. But things like checking polarity or, or changing polarity are all working fine. I put a link to the GitHub in the description for this video if you'd like to try it out. Just keep in mind it's not fully functional yet.